So guys, I am back from part one of my Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku playthrough. And I recently left off getting into a big fight with the wolf and we move on after Raditz has kidnapped Gohan from Goku. Now unfortunately, we, we all know that in the real series this never happened, but it was an interesting idea to continue all of this from the story. In reality, it's just completely unrealistic that all of this could have possibly have taken place. Alright, so let's go. Wah! Whimper. Sniff. He stole my egg. That heartless monster. That poor mother lost her egg. I understand how she feels. Well, yeah, because you she stole your kid, but Goku, you don't give eggs, do you? <laughs> Alright, let's see. So... How do I help her? Because obviously that's what's going to have to happen. Alright, so obviously that's not something I'm going to go with right now. Alright, let's explore down here. Is there anything to do? Let's see, the stone might be useful. Okay, we picked up a random stone. Don't know too much about what that stone is really actually used for. Um, let's see, where should we go? Alright, we all know that wolves are like OP on this game. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Thing like took a huge chunk out of my health bar. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, this guy, Goku, <laughs> can fight King Piccolo. He can fight, you know, all these mystical beings. Holy crap. <laughs> you see, guys? That's what I never really liked too much about this game as a kid until I realized as I got older. It's like ridiculously overpowered. I mean, that wolf. I gotta eat my herbs. <laughs> Wolf took like a huge chunk out of my <laughs> out of my health bar. Jeez, man, I gotta eat a sensu bean. Look at this, guys. I'm eating a sensu bean for a wolf. A wolf. This thing. If this thing is this strong, it should help me fight Raditz. Oh my god! <laughs> I gotta eat another sensu bean. <laughs> Are you guys seeing this? This is ridiculous. I mean, whoever programmed this game... <laughs> are you guys seeing what it took me to beat three wolves? I had to eat two sensu beans to kill three wolves. I mean, sorry, actually four now that I think about it. Four wolves took two sensu beans. I mean, this is ridiculous! Goku didn't even use a sensu bean when he fought against Raditz the first time, and I'm using him for a wolf? Man, this is insane, guys. But, <laughs> I wanted to make this video to have fun with you guys, because I've always wanted to do a playthrough, and I just couldn't decide on which game I was going to choose, but here we go, alright. Alright, well, now, you guys are seeing this, right? Like, like... What I love about playthroughs is you guys are actually seeing what I'm going through here. I have used three, three, three sensu beans to kill five wolves, okay? Because their chunks, I mean, they must have like poisonous fangs or something, like anti-Saiyan fangs or something, because, I mean, this is ridiculous. Jesus Christ, man, this is ridiculously insane how strong these wolves are. But anyways, I'm actually enjoying this playthrough, like, I've always wanted to, you know, play a game that I felt my subscriber base would enjoy, and I felt that you guys would enjoy this, because obviously it's Dragon Ball Z. Now, I kinda, oh look, it's Tien. Oh man. Alright, Tien, you better help me out here, dude. Come on. Alright. Tien, you saw me fighting against a wolf and you didn't do do a thing about it? Alright, let's see what they have to say. Hello, Goku. Good to see you, Chiaotzu. Are you okay? You look worried about something. My son is in trouble. I'm searching for him right now. Oh no, well if you we can help, let us know. Yeah, right, Chiaotzu. I will, Chiaotzu, but I'm afraid I need to take care of this myself. Are you kidding me, Goku? In reality, if this was really happening in the Saiyan song, you would have loved to have had Tien's help. I mean, how much help would Tien and Chiaotzu have been against Raditz? I'm not saying they would have won, but come on, man. 
I mean, Tien's pretty strong, at least at this point in Dragon Ball Z. Hey there, Goku. What brings you out here? I was about to ask you the same thing. I'm looking for Gohan. Something bad has happened. Oh no, is there anything we can do to help? Thanks, Tien, but I need to handle this myself. Well, Chiaotzu and I are here training out here, so if you need help, give, a, give the word. I think I can handle this. Besides, Piccolo is going to assist me. Piccolo? You're kidding, right? Don't ask. <laughs> Alright, so... Obviously, we know that in Dragon Ball Z, if... If Tien and Chiaotzu were actually going to help, they would have actually have helped. I mean, I can't see them just sitting there doing nothing. And why would Goku not want to the help? Then again, Goku kind of doesn't like help. But Tien, I think... But, but let's do like a little what if now that we're playing this. What would have happened if Tien had joined Goku in the fight against Raditz? How much of an impact would Tien have made fighting, fighting against Raditz? I personally think that obviously Tien wouldn't really be that much of a help, you know, to damage Raditz. But I think he would have been great distractions. I think it would have helped with the special beam cannon. But then at the same time, let's be honest, if, you know, I have to save because I'm probably going to die. But, I mean, let's be honest, like, if Tien was there, I mean, if they managed to defeat Raditz without Goku dying and sacrificing himself, that would be bad considering the fact that the Saiyans, you know, would obviously come over and, you know, hell would break loose because Goku wouldn't be strong enough to fight against, you know, Raditz and, uh, Raditz and Vegeta, so... Alright guys, so you guys see this. I got killed fighting some wolves in a pterodactyl. This is ridiculous. But, let's continue. <laughs> you guys are really seeing this, aren't you? Uh, this is insane. You guys now understand what I was talking about when I was a kid trying to play this. Like, I'm an adult now and I'm a lot more intelligent than I was as a kid, but... I mean, come on, like this, could you imagine the horrors that a kid had to go through playing this? <laughs> but you can't play with Legacy of Goku 2 and 3, or as I should say, Boost Fury, because, you know, Legacy of Goku um, 3 actually doesn't exist by name, but... Um, I, I've always enjoyed this game, though, like, especially when you go to the Namek Saga, I feel like they did a pretty good job um, actually portraying, you know, a pretty playable game. But the only thing that kind of, you know, obviously is a Dragon Ball Z geek, you know, one thing that I always have a problem with is obviously the series itself. But, I mean, hey, <laughs> it's fun. I mean, when you're making an R MMORPG game, like, how else are they supposed to continue the story? I mean, they can't just put, like, one or two boss fights because the fight wouldn't be fun. Alright, so I got killed twice. Alright, let's continue this again. Ah, uh, you guys are seeing that this is not easy. <laughs> but you know what, guys? You guys know that these are the strongest wolves ever. I mean, I wish these wolves could help me fight against Raditz. I mean, if they're this strong, dude, I mean, <laughs> why not? Alright, so Goku is going to say, I sense a powerful presence across this river. Yeah, a wolf. That's the powerful presence you sense across the river. Nada? No. Obviously, it's not Raditz. It's, it's obviously these wolves. Because clearly, I mean, they seem stronger than all of these. Now, if you can imagine that I'm struggling so much to kill a wolf, what do you think this T-Rex can do? Oh my goodness. Guys, can you... Do you guys have any suggestions on how I beat <laughs> Oh my god, I gotta save. Alright. Alright, I saved the game. You guys are gonna see that this is probably gonna be a long playthrough, but... You know what? I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna show every aspect of me playing this game. I'm not gonna cut out anything. But, <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, we're gonna have to go through a lot of times together, guys. But this is gonna be a true adventure. But this is ridiculous, man. Like... If Goku struggles this much to beat a T-Rex, <laughs> you guys can imagine how weak I'm going to be for Raditz. I'm going to have to do a lot of training. This is what I was talking about in part one, though, like, uh, what I was referring to, like, there's a point in the game where you just have to keep training on this T-Rex. 
or else you're not gonna stand a chance. Like, me and my friend, as a kid, we used to play this game all the time, and, like, every time we'd play, like, we'd have to, like, train against this T-Rex until we were, like, level 10 or 15 before we could progress in the game, because it's just too much. I mean, you guys are seeing how much it's taking me just to beat this T-Rex. I mean, I'm like, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. I think they did a better job in, in Legacy of Goku 2 with balancing out, you know, enemies, man, because this is just too much. I mean, this thing is like, this <laughs> if <laughs> this T-Rex could help defeat King Piccolo. Because let's be honest, this Goku is obviously stronger than the one that fought against, you know, obviously this is the Goku that fought against uh, King Piccolo, and this is a Goku that fought regular Piccolo Jr., and he beat both of them. So if this Goku is struggling so much to beat Wolves and a T-Rex, you guys can imagine, I'm not going to stand a chance against Raditz. I mean, yeah, Goku, just sit there and chill while your energy gets up, because... I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm blasting the living shit out of this fucking T-Rex. And it is doing nothing. Oh my god. Lord help me. You know what? I'm not going to use any religious figures in this. Kami, help me. Please help me, Kami. Kami, you are the god of Earth. Now, you notice that I basically leveled up just by killing this thing, right? So... This clearly shows that I am nowhere near strong enough to fight against these wolves, and I'm nowhere near strong enough to fight against many of these uh, villains later on. I mean, considering a T-Rex can kill me like that. I mean, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Now, here's the thing, guys. You guys probably didn't know this, but when you've played, like, I've played Legacy of Goku a lot as a kid. And as a matter of fact, I'll save this and show you guys. You can actually fight Raditz, like, right now without having to do anything else in the storyline. And you probably don't... Pro many people actually didn't know this, but um, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go redo all of this, but I just want to show you how this all works. All right. I almost forgot about your reward. I shall teach this technique of solar flare. Use it wisely to temporarily blind your enemies. What the heck? What? What's happening? I don't know why it's not working. I remember when I was a kid, there was like a glitch that would allow you to go through this. It's really weird. Hmm. Now I'm, like, I'm out of fly power. Alright, I guess that didn't work. So, let's see. Guess it didn't work. Hmm. I was gonna read this old man thing over here, but hmm, this is weird. And I'm like out of fly power. All right, so let's go back. All right, so I got killed by a wolf again. All right, so as you guys can see, this Goku is probably n not much stronger than. An average human he clearly isn't strong enough to beat wolves and he's clearly not strong enough to beat a t-rex so you guys can imagine like obviously Radis is gonna be a bigger problem so let's read this before I end today's video segment since I kind of glanced over it I'm searching for my son who was kidnapped by my evil brother he's extremely dangerous I see perhaps I can be of assistance really Yes, but you are not yet ready to proceed. What do I need to do? There are several disturbances in this forest. Quiet the forest, and you shall be ready. Certainly, I'll see what I can do. I can promise you guys, though, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I remember when I was a kid and I used to play this game. Like, you could just fly right through that, that portal over there, even though, you know, obviously it's not working here. Maybe the PC, you know visual boy version of this game doesn't have the same effect but i definitely remember being able to just fly through but this does it for part two guys i hope you guys really enjoyed this walkthrough so far and i'll continue this off with part three 
right here. So please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And remember, as I always say, to have a great day, guys.